All right, this is the new new project for the channel. 97 Ford Ranger, little single cab. Had it for a few months now. Uh, last night just did a DJM suspension drop kit. It's a three in the front, four in the back, and I put these Mustang wheels on from a 2000, 2000 GT, maybe. 275s in the rear, they look pretty good. I think it's got a uh, inch and a quarter spacer all around. In case anybody's got a 97 Ranger and they want to put wheels on, you need an inch and a quarter to clear the dust cover over on the front. So, and the studs uh, on the rear, we had to cut the ends of the studs off because even with an inch and a quarter, the studs hit the back of the wheel coming out of the spacer. Um, these twin I-beam suspension kits, uh, the DJM kit was, I mean, it's pretty straightforward it's just a big pain in the ass with these uh twin i-beams i don't know if i can see them under here it took quite a while for me and a few of my buddies to get this thing figured out last night um, the plans for this truck it's got a 2.3 liter got five speed manual so my plan is over here i got a 2.0 ecoboost out of a 2013 ford escape and i got a transmission out of another ford ranger 2000 and 2002 and up four cylinder two wheel drive transmission out of a ranger supposedly bolt, bolts up to these EcoBoost motors. I saw another guy did it a while back and no one else has ever really done it so it might not work. This video might be a waste but that's fine. Right now this thing runs and drives. It's got 150,000 miles on it. It had a little issue. It had some some of the bolts were broke off in the head so I had to bring it over here to the FOD and uh, get the welder out and weld some uh, nuts on and back these bolts out but we got it back together now it runs and drives needed a little tune up these things are really slow um, these things are really slow from the factory so I mean I did a few things to make it a little bit better they do the, the throttle cable mod which I mean it, if you're interested just google it you just put zip ties you pull the slack out of the throttle cable and just zip tie it and then it basically allows you to go full throttle when i got this thing it wouldn't even really get out of its own way so it's still too slow i couldn't i couldn't drive it like it is i got i got competition out there that wants the title of the mini truck king we got the tangerine sitting over there but he just blew his uh motor up that's old old sketchy roosters nine or 89 zuzu over there and then he's got this amigo also he's going to do a little wide body swap so we're in a we got a little group going we're in a big competition somebody's gonna probably blow their shit up and i'll end up in the weeds but maybe i'll put a cage in this thing probably some we do some little bucket seats or something and I don't know. I mean, once I really just need to get this motor in, if we can get this swap done, um, maybe I'll dump my whole life savings into this thing. But it's a decent little truck. Just to mess around with, nothing serious. I got, I got the old uh, Fox body peeking over here. So in case anybody's worried, I got rid of the Fox and that's why you follow the channel. Didn't get rid of it, probably never will, but always room for more, always room for more projects. These wheels and tires, these tires are kind of trashed out. They're 275, some junk tires, but eventually, hopefully this thing will be set up to grip pretty well. Right now it's just 
kind of just waiting on the swap i'm not really driving it or anything i got another vehicle to daily drive so this thing's kind of just chilling but maybe i'll take it out and we'll do a little cruise see if old sketchy rooster can get his head gasket done on the old tangerine there and we can go for a go for a street cruise or something and try to break something we got uh one more guy's got a toyota 80 90 whatever something he's right now he's the only one that's up on the road running and driving making us look well making us look bad i guess but we'll get him one day but the new project here try not to spend too much money on it oh, just having fun i got the mustang that's really still needs a ton of stuff it's not really it's streetable and it runs it drives it's fun but it still needs a whole lot of little cosmetic stuff and a few little performance upgrades and stuff like that so just money and time and right now for all the money for the small amount of money i put into that little project ranger this thing is needs a lot a lot more so for now this thing's kind of chilling interior's not all in i mean needs a lot of stuff still it's still around and i'll keep messing with that too i got a steering rack for it because this steering rack that's in it i'm not sure if it's any good it's a remanufactured rack and it's got some weird play it doesn't feel good i don't really have confidence in it here's a little look at the azuzu pretty cool little truck it's definitely i think this is a 2.6 liter ranger to 2.3 uh, this thing is definitely faster. I mean when you're comparing You know these little hundred horsepower trucks. It's not really nothing's fast, but um, this thing is uh, This thing is faster for sure just just stock the way it sits so that was kind of right away. I was like I bought that Ranger and Just kind of thought you know, we'll mess around on the street and they're all kind of be to all kind of be slow anyway, so it doesn't matter but that Ranger was just too slow. I just couldn't couldn't do it. It's not. It's just not going to be any fun. Um, it gets around all right, but it's not. It's not going to keep up with these guys and these little foreign hot boy machines. I guess they just knew uh, Japan knew what they were doing. Ford was messing up with the old 2.3 liter. But. There's just a little update, new, hopefully we got the swap coming up. If anybody's interested in the 2.0 EcoBoost swap, I'm going to try to do it as quickly as possible. Uh, that way, you know, it's not going to be some 20 year project, hopefully, as long as everything goes like it should. It's got the whole uh, turbo and everything still on it. I'm not really sure what to expect with this. I know, like I said, one guy did he used the newer ranger and it kind of mounted up a little bit better i'm just kind of diving into it based off of some of the stuff he made a pretty lengthy post if you google 2.0 ecoboost swap ford ranger you'll see that guy's truck he did the whole write-up on it posted a lot of information it's, it's his swap wasn't even perfect so i'm kind of getting into uncharted territory don't really know what's going to happen it might not even work but we're gonna try it out, see what happens. I got everything, I think, to get it going. So if anybody's interested in that, hopefully it turns out to be pretty cool. These EcoBoost motors, I had a 2013 Ford Focus ST that had a same motor pretty much, just a little bit different. And it was pretty quick. I think they make like 250 horsepower from the factory, something like that. It should do all right in this little truck. It should be pretty fun. I was gonna, 5.0 swap it with an old explorer motor and i was going to ls swap it but i just was like you know i kind of want to keep it four cylinder and don't want to spend a ton of money so the whole goal for this is to finish this whole truck everything for under five grand so right now with all the stuff that i've bought so far i'm under five grand not sure it's going to stay like that but we'll see what happens hopefully here in the next few weeks we can pull this old 2.3 out of here and then we can figure out what we're going to need to do to make some mounts and mount this motor in there once we get it mounted it's pretty much just going to be 
you know, buttoning up little stuff. But that's going to be the hardest part. And it, hopefully this trans mounts up. I'm not even 100% sure that's going to happen either. The location here, as you can see, we got a lot of, a lot of projects and stuff going on. This is Sketchy Rooster Garage. A buddy of mine, he's got a YouTube channel. He shouted me out. I don't know if some people might have came over from his channel. He's got a ton of stuff. He's got the little Azuzu going on. He's building the Silverado here, which is probably the next thing to get done, I think. His boy's got a K5 Blazer going on here. Uh, he's got this school bus. His other boy's got a Miata. Um, this thing's going to be a Turbo LS deal. He's already got a motor put together. He's got a turbo. He's got a trans. Really just needs to be all put back together. So go over there, check his channel out. He's got a lot of stuff going on. He's going to do this wide body swap with this Amigo. I mean, he's just got tons of stuff out here. So nothing's getting done quick, but it's all getting done.